house. Wondering whether a heated clothes dryer or tumble dryer is cheaper to dry clothes? It certainly crossed our minds too. Unless you've been living under a rock, you'll know that we're all trying to find ways to heat and eat cheaply and generally reduce the cost of running our homes. Whether you go to work, stay at home in your jammies, or exercise, having clean clothes is important in order to feel fresh and comfortable. Sweat, food, and mud stains are all normal, so if you're washing clothes to get rid of these marks, you'll need to find a way to dry your outfits quickly too. Before we make the comparison between a heated clothes error versus a tumble dryer, it's worth noting that not all dryers dry the same. Still with us, when investing in this appliance, there are three types of this machine. Condenser tumble dryers. These remove moisture from your clothes and store it in a removable tank. This kind of dryer is ideal if you can't vent the moisture outside using a hose, but you'll need to empty the tank after each cycle ends. Heat pump tumble dryers. Heat pump tumble dryers recycle hot air created inside the drum to dry clothes, which makes them really efficient. Vented tumble dryers. Vented tumble dryers remove moisture from your clothes and feed it outside through a vent. They come with a long hose to help you do this, but you may need to get it installed by a professional if you want to vent the moisture out through a wall. You might be thinking, which of these can dry a large load of washing quickest? This depends on how large the drum of your tumble dryer is, the wattage, and the size of your electric error. Generally speaking, your tumble, washer dryer will trump your clothes horse or drying rack, but it does come at an energy cost. An average tumble dryer can hold a medium load of washing, which is great to get your bed sheets, shirts, and sweats dried all at once. By correctly drying clothes on a heated clothes error in a warm room, you might find that you can dry your clothes more quickly this way. It's also worth noting that for safety reasons, some tumble dryers have a cooling down stage, and you may have to wait for this to end before you take your clothes out of the machine. Failure to do so might damage the appliance. I know it's going to be just raining all day so what I've done is I've just 
last night I washed um, just the thin so these are as you see bed sheets and because they're quite thin um, I know it's not going to take long to dry and so what I always use in the dryer is tennis ball and because these are quite thin I just use one of them if it's my lows heavy clothes then I'll put my two so one of those and what they do these balls it just makes the clothes dry quicker sheets everything blankets dries a lot quicker with using these these absorb all the water so I put that in first and then I put, put my dryer on and that will save on energy save on cost as I say energy bills we know going up so anything to make things cheaper that's what I do so it will take less time to dry, less energy, less money. Delicate materials like merino wool, cashmere, and silk often come at a premium price, so you wouldn't want to damage the fibers and make your clothes fray, or worse, rip at the seams. Use the tumble dryer and you risk treating your textiles too harshly. Continually spinning your special items can be quite a harsh way to dry them, and embellishments could catch and damage the machine or your favorite vintage wares. So if you're like me and you're thinking how the hell am I going to get all the clothes dry this winter because heating is crazy prices, I've decided to get a three tier heated clothes rail. This one is called Dry Soon, I've got a little load of washing on there to try it out. Apparently it's £1.68 average for a tumble dryer for an hour and this is 56 pence an hour so I'll let you know. I've put two loads on the error um, as opposed to the one I could get in the tumble dryer. We've reset the energy monitor let's just make sure yeah 34p and then it's on down there there is an argument to say we could get another small load on there really there are lots of places especially at the top there for socks and pants and small things but we'll just stick with two loads on there at the moment i will get the tent over it oh yeah it actually feels like it's done the towel's done yeah the towel's done that all feels done so let's have a look at the figures. It's done, just under two kilowatts. It's cost us 67p. I'm really interested to know how many of you didn't know about this part of the era, that they actually open out for you to hang your clothes on. I had a few people comment on my last videos and they didn't know about this. Let me know in the comment section.